Hi everyone and welcome back to Sisters Keeper. I'm Anu, I'm a health and fitness enthusiast. Today I'll be sharing 10 tips on nutrition that have helped me wear the same dress size for 30 years. My perfect dress size is a US size 6 and a UK size 10 in spite of the dreaded middle age spread. Wouldn't you love to pick out any item of clothing from your wardrobe and wear it with ease, without prior fasting, praying and hoping it still fits? Maintaining a healthy weight contributes to enjoying a better quality of life and could help us live long enough to watch our grandchildren grow, God willing. I'm speaking from experience, but as I'm neither a doctor nor a nutritionist, I have done some research. So let's get down to it. 1. Intermittent Fasting For as long as I can remember, I've been eating at particular times on most days. Breakfast at about 7.30, followed by a snack at about noon, and then lunch at about 3.30 in the afternoon, and nothing else for the rest of the day. Intermittent fasting is an eating plan that switches between fasting and eating on a regular schedule. Research shows that intermittent fasting is a way to manage your weight and prevent or even reverse some forms of disease. Intermittent fasting focuses on when you eat and not entirely on what you eat. This usually allows you to eat within an 8 hour window or less and then fast for 16 hours or more. It helps you burn away more calories. You need to try it, you'll love the results. If you're not a breakfast person, your meal times could be lunch at noon, a snack, and then dinner at 8. You could even switch it up and eat once in every 24 hours. You can find out more with a simple internet search. 2. Drink more water. Drinking more water is important for your health. About 3 liters each day is adequate. Many studies have shown that drinking water can increase weight loss and promote weight maintenance and it may even slightly increase the number of calories we burn each day. We know from experience that drinking water before meals can reduce our appetite and food intake during the next meal. 3. Eat lots of fruits. Do you remember the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Apparently whoever coined that was right. Fruits are loaded with water, fiber, vitamins and antioxidants. Several fruits are also low in calories. According to Healthline.com, in an article on nutrition dated July 21st, in 2021, studies have repeatedly linked eating fruits to a reduced risk of several health conditions such as heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and cancer. 4. Eat lots of vegetables. Vegetables are low in calories and have vitamins and minerals. You can eat lots of vegetables uncooked as salads or cooked as part of our African cuisine. 5. Choose to boil or roast food instead of frying food. Examples of foods which this relates to are fish, chicken, meat, yam, potatoes and yummy plantain. 6. Eat healthy protein with each meal. Protein helps you retain muscle mass, which gives you that sculpted or buff look, and may also slightly increase the number of calories you burn per day. 7. Eat eggs more often. Eggs in particular are a great source of protein that will keep you feeling full for several hours. Eggs are recommended for breakfast. 8. Reduce your portion sizes. Do you know that the size of your plate can affect how much you eat? Eating from a large plate can make your portion look smaller than it actually is, while eating from a small plate can make portions look bigger. Choose a smaller plate and eat all your meals from this plate. 9. Eat your vegetables and fruits first during any meal. This can fill you up quickly, leaving little room for carbs and other high calorie options. And 10. Replace sodas and other sugary drinks with water. These sugary drinks are high in calories, which not only cause weight gain, but have been linked to numerous diseases, including heart disease and type 2 diabetes. 
You can try these tips cumulatively one at a time and see how they work for you. With the hyperinflation which shows no signs of easing up anytime soon, this is the wrongest time to buy new clothes in a larger size. The fear of non-essential expenditure is the beginning of wisdom. And that wraps up our time together today. There's something new coming next. Subscribe to ensure you don't miss it. Thank you for listening. Remember to be your sister's keeper. If you found this video useful, please subscribe, share, like, and then leave a comment in the comment section below. Contact us via our socials at sisterskeeper42 and email sisterskeeper42 at gmail.com. Take good care of yourself and I look forward to talking to you soon.